as you can probably tell from the title, I have a bit of a life update for you today. A lot of people seem to be confused about where I'm at right now, what my plans for the future are, especially when it comes to moving back to Slovenia. Um, and yeah, I don't blame you at all because I'm just as confused about my own life. <laughs> But uh, today I thought I would give you a bit of an update. I don't even know where to start because I have a lot of things that I want to cover. But uh, maybe let's start at the beginning, like about a year ago. So if you've been watching my videos back then, you would know that I was freelancing about a year ago. But if you've ever been a freelancer yourself, you'll know that the income can be a little bit inconsistent and I was quite unlucky because I also got taken advantage of a couple of times meaning that I was working but I didn't get paid because I basically got scammed like two times so I'm not gonna be using any of those online platforms anymore I don't think but yeah that's what was going on about a year ago and because I have quite a hefty rent to pay here in London I decided to um, open myself to the possibility of looking for a full-time job. So long story short, I saw a job that would potentially be right up my alley, I applied, I got the job, and that's what I've been doing for the past year. I was basically doing your average, well, not exactly your average, but a 9 to 6 office kind of job in the content creation slash influencer marketing field, but on top of that, I was also spending about three to four hours on public transport. When I came home in the evenings, I usually worked on my own projects. And on the weekends, I've also been doing some other freelance projects because living in London is expensive and, uh, you know, someone's got to make the money. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. And as you can probably assume, that hasn't been the best for my physical or mental health or my social life. So eventually I reached a stage of complete burnout and that's when I uh, realized that there was something that needed to be changed. So I did a lot of thinking in the past few months where my life is at, where I want it to be, which I guess leads me to today. Um, yesterday was my last day at my full-time job. I decided not to extend a contract for another year and decided to give freelancing slash working remotely another try. Some of you probably think I'm crazy for turning down a secure job, but at the end of the day, I really, I don't know, I just realized life is short and I need to prioritize what makes me happy and prioritize projects that will, I guess, get me to the point that I want to be in the future, if that makes sense. And yeah, working myself to the point of exhaustion just to pay the bills and not have anything else from life simply doesn't work for me anymore. So yeah, as I've mentioned, I decided to go back to freelancing slash working remotely. I want to stay in the field that I work in now, which is like social media, digital content creation, influencer marketing, like all wrapped into one because that's where like my heart is and that's where I have like a lot of experience. And my long-term goal is definitely to work remotely because I want to be more or less location independent so that I can travel a lot more. Besides like my family and friends, traveling is something that's like really really important to me. I know everyone says they love to travel, but like my passion for traveling is on a whole another level, I feel like. And yeah, it's like the one thing that keeps me going and um, I just realized that I need to start prioritizing it in my life. So that's what I'm doing. And yeah, having a full-time like office job is something that just doesn't work with that sort of lifestyle. Having said all that, I'm not closing myself any doors. You know, there might be a full-time job out there waiting for me one day that I will very gladly take because it would either, I don't know, help me grow professionally or provide me with a big enough salary that would help me like save. So yeah, not closing any doors. Um, but as of right now, I am freelancing slash working remotely and I really hope it works out. Luckily, I'm in a bit of a better position than I was um, like a couple of years ago when I first decided to start freelancing because I do already have a client that I'm working with on a regular basis. And it's also a project that I'm really excited about and I'm thankful to be a part of. So um, that makes me a little more calm, I guess. But I'm definitely looking into taking on some more clients. So if you need 
a video editor or a writer or a photographer, <laughs> basically a creative multi-practic, I'm your girl. <laughs> so um, yeah, get in touch with me. I'll have my email down below in the description box so you can reach out if you want to. But yeah, that's basically what I've been doing for the past couple of years. Um, just creating all types of digital content for social media slash influencer marketing. Anyway, that's um, the plan as far as my job goes. Um, I'll review the situation in a couple of months and see where it goes. And now moving on to the next point, which is YouTube. Um, YouTube is still a huge passion of mine and I'm super, super excited to have more time to film videos now, especially because I've been having so many ideas lately that I've been like dying to make happen. So yeah, the plan is to definitely make my content better in quality and also um, I'm probably gonna start posting a lot more. Well, not a lot more. I'm not like turning into a daily vlogger, even though I would love to be, but my life is not that interesting, <laughs> trust me. Uh, but yeah, instead of posting just once a week, I'm gonna first try to post twice a week on Sunday and Wednesday. And if I feel like I can do it, I might eventually start posting three times a week on Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. If you haven't yet, please subscribe down below and click the bell button as well so that you'll get notified when I upload because the videos don't get to subscription boxes every time now anymore. So um, clicking the bell button is just a way for you to um, definitely not miss my videos because I think it sends you like a notification. So yeah, that's as far as YouTube goes. And now moving on to what everyone is dying to know, when am I moving back to Slovenia? <laughs> um, I am still in London, obviously, and I have no set plans on moving back to Slovenia. Having said that, it might happen at the end of the summer, or maybe it will happen in like two years. Like, I have no idea. As of right now, I just want to go with the flow and see how things work out in the next couple of months. Um, obviously, if the majority of my clients are based in the UK, I'm gonna stay here for longer. But if it turns out that I can't sustain myself with the money coming in, um, then obviously I'm gonna have to move to Slovenia because living expenses here are so, so high. And in Slovenia, my living expenses would be very low. So that's one of the reasons why I would potentially move. To be completely honest, I'm not ready to leave just yet. Especially now that I have so many YouTube ideas that I want to make happen. And I feel like I need to be here for a little bit longer to kind of execute that kind of a plan. <laughs> um, but yeah. Like I said, we'll see what happens and we'll deal with that later. So yeah, not sure when I'm moving back yet, but um, I'm definitely moving back at some point. My long-term goal would be to um, a work remotely, as I've mentioned. Probably be based in Slovenia because, like I said, the living expenses are a lot lower there. And C, traveling a lot in the meantime so i technically wouldn't be in slovenia a whole lot or maybe i would be for the majority of time but you know i would still like to travel a lot so yeah that would be my ideal life kind of live between slovenia and london and also travel in the meantime i know i'm very realistic but you know it is doable with the kind of work that i do so keeping my fingers crossed. Speaking of travel and Slovenia, I'm actually currently in Slovenia when you're watching this. Right now I'm obviously in London, but on Wednesday when this video goes up, I will be in Slovenia. Um, I am actually going on almost a month long holiday slash working holiday. I'm gonna start with visiting my family and friends in Slovenia. I'm gonna be there for a week. Then I'm going skiing to France for a week and then I'm coming back to Slovenia for a couple of days, like four days I think. And then before returning to London, I'm stopping in the Netherlands for four days as well. So it's gonna be quite a lot of traveling, which is, you know, something that I am really excited about. I'm basically gonna be living my dream life in the upcoming month, so yay for that. Um, and yeah, hopefully, I mean, the plan is to create a lot of content on the way as well. If you have any more questions for me, don't hesitate, um, leaving them down below in the comments. 
I'll be happy to reply. I reply to every single comment usually, so feel free to ask me anything about my life or anything else you want to know. But yeah, that's kind of it for today. I hope I cleared some things up. And um, yeah, like I said, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with what I'm up to. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I'll be posting a lot of Insta stories while I'm traveling and also like Instagram posts. I feel like I'm kind of back on the bandwagon now with posting daily, uh, which I'm really happy about. Um, so yeah, I'll see you on Instagram and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye! About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking.